Hey there, everybody. It's Eric from Support Adventure, and I'm going to tell you why most of our MSP clients use ConnectWise or Autotask as their ticketing systems. Now, I'm coming to you today from beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand, with this uh, lovely vegetation and, you know, Starbucks coffee here. And um, the reason I'm sitting here today is because, well, it's warm and it's October, and I'm happy to say that. Uh, <laughs> I'm able to live and work from these places like Chiang Mai, Thailand with my business support adventure. We're an expat focused uh, company that hires people worldwide to work for the English speaking world, mostly in the MSP space. So our business model allows us to hire people basically on the model of they're living in more affordable parts of the world and they need less money to live and they're they're also living in places that inspire them that they like living and well that offer them a good work-life balance so they also do great work and well support adventure was founded when i didn't want to live in canada anymore and i moved to europe found a place called belgrade a city in southeast europe that i really enjoyed and wanted to settle down there and i started working for a british msp anyways enough about that if you're interested you can send me an email down below so with Support Adventure, I've worked with more than 25 MSPs. It might be more than, more than 30 by now. But um, the thing that I, I find is that the MSPs that usually have their stuff together, have their sort of systems in place, have evolved their business models, are doing great work for their clients in an organized way, they tend to use one of two ticketing systems. And those are either Autotask or ConnectWise. Now, they also use uh, mostly IT glue for documentation, but that's another video. But Autotask and ConnectWise are the two biggest players in the MSP space for ticketing systems, and I can see very good reasons why they are actually very useful. Now, you might be wondering which one you should choose. I would say they're pretty much similar from a help desk uh, point of view in the basic feature set that they, that they offer. But what it all comes down to with ConnectWise and Autotask is the fact that they give you control over the workflow and control over the accountability, control over the way that your MSP is run. And they're very good at giving you the data afterwards for how all of that fits together so you can improve your service. So if you ask me which one I, I would choose, if I had to choose one or the other, I'd choose ConnectWise because I just love the service desk view. I love the um, sort of visual cues that it gives you on the service desk view with the red arrows and the green arrows. This is something that a lot of people are not using, even if they have ConnectWise. But basically what a green arrow means is that things are scheduled in the future. A red arrow means it's scheduled in the past. So if you look at the service desk, you can see which tickets have likely had the ball dropped. Anyways, from a service desk perspective, what ConnectWise does really well is it allows you to sort of manage your technician's time, schedule, and just make sure that they have accurate information about what's assigned to them. And you can do all these workflow rules in the background that will make, make it if a ticket is, you know, idle for more than a day, or if it doesn't have, a, if it has a certain status for more than a day, in progress for more than a day, it sends the technician an email, you have to update this ticket and it can be quite persistent. And you can also do things like, you know, with SLAs and all sorts of scheduling and workflows. If this happens, do this. And it, the workflow rules really allow you a level of customization that a lot of uh, ticketing systems don't allow you. I've used a bunch of them. And, you know, I would always say that it's, it's more about how you use the ticketing system, not the ticketing system that you have, because well, if your guys aren't using the correct statuses in the way that you intended, if you guys, if you guys um, are not sort of using um, writing good notes in the system, then what's the point of any of it? So I will say that before you adopt something like ConnectWise or Autotask, you should make it clear what you're expecting in terms of notes in the system. Like I wrote a guide and I'll, I'll, if you're interested in my guide, I can send you it for free if you just send me an email at the email address below. But 
a lot of technicians will not look at ticket notes in a, any sort of serious way and they'll just sort of write vague notes in, in no structured form but i'll give you one little tip from my ticket notes guide and that's that every ticket should end with one of four things ticket resolved hopefully next steps meaning that the technician who has it assigned to them is taking responsibility for taking the next steps and they have a plan on how they're going to resolve the ticket waiting for which would mean they're waiting for a user to get back to them or they're waiting for a vendor to do something or they're waiting for something else to happen that means that they cannot actually take the next steps they're waiting for someone else to take the next steps and then escalation required that means that they do not feel that they have the information or skill set with which they can solve this problem or time or whatever it is they're going off shift and escalation is required that means that another person in your organization needs to pick up that ticket and they should leave some notes on which state the ticket is at so that they can do that. So that's ticket notes. If you want a copy of my ticket notes writing guide, I'm happy to send it over. Just write um, an email to the email below in the description and I'll send that over to you for free. And we can even get on a call and discuss more of this further. But basically things like ConnectWise work really well once you have someone in your organization who keeps things consistent and takes responsibility for things and looks at every ticket assigned to every technician every day. Usually this is called a service ticket coordinator or a dispatcher who will be responsible for looking at the service desk holistically in a methodical way. Now you might have a service desk manager who will make calls on the list of statuses are, which are you being used in ConnectWise and make calls on adopting you know, a new bright gauge or desk director type system, service desk manager who will deal with client issues when they want to complain about some service they've received or they're not happy with this or that. That would be a service desk manager. But a dispatcher is more in the day-to-day -day communication space of communicating with the people who are, you know, submitting tickets to the service desk, getting those tickets assigned to the right technician and making sure that those technicians are actually moving those tickets along. That's what a dispatcher does. And you really need to, once you have a dispatcher on ConnectWise, you really need to give them the sort of tool set in terms of statuses, in terms of workflow rules, in terms of priorities and emergency scenarios, like a whole procedural framework so that they, so that they can get the job of coordinating the service test done and they can get all the tickets that need to be escalated, escalated, all the tickets assigned based on a skills matrix. So ConnectWise can be really good because it al allows for various priorities and categories and statuses and statuses that have workflow rules attached to them and all of this. And I've, I've seen that, you know, a lot of these smaller help desk solutions don't have that. And well, if you look on a gradient from just having an email inbox where clients write and picking issues out of that email inbox and replying to users from that to a ticketing system, which actually takes in tickets and makes records of each ticket that you can assign to various people in a system. And then you look at something as powerful as ConnectWise or Autotask that can really automate a lot of the way, a lot of the ways that, that your business is, is helping people. On that end of the spectrum, there's a lot of value in implementing all of this stuff. There's a lot of value in implementing the scheduling on ConnectWise or Autotask. So you can see how overloaded a technician is, how many tickets they have assigned, how that looks on a day. And yeah, I mean, there's a whole level of meticulousness that a lot of MSPs never really reach, even if they do get ConnectWise, which is available even if you're the smallest MSP, even if you're a one person MSP, you can Im implement a lot of stuff on ConnectWise that you can't implement or Autotask that you can't implement with other ticketing systems that makes it a lot easier to give your customers a consistent level of service. And so I would definitely recommend making, if you have more than three technicians or five technicians, definitely make it somebody's job to not work on tickets, but coordinate the work on the tickets. So that's a dispatcher role. So if you wanted more information about that, just um, please write to me and we consult on the implementation of dispatch roles. Nick, who's our service delivery manager, also has experience working in a well-organized MSP of 30 technicians where he was a service delivery manager. So we've seen 
how these types of roles work for people, how the workflow rules work for people, how categorizations, incident priority, and different um, human or automated workflows based on different procedures that are enacted based on certain events and certain chains of categorization work. And a lot of MSPs aren't doing this. And if you want to know how to do this and you don't know and you want some outside perspective, feel free to get in touch with us at the email address below. So look at, you know, if, you're, if your MSP was an uh, airline, would you fly on it? Would you believe that all of the safety checks, that all of the procedures were in place for all the possible scenarios? Ask yourself that question, would you fly on it? If your MSP was a restaurant, what kind of restaurant would it be? Would it be a restaurant with just one person working there who's chef, waiter, dishwasher, and all that stuff? Or have you grown to a size where it makes sense to sort of delegate those things into different roles with different expectations of diff the different people in the different roles? I, I'm all for roles even if you are a small msp and one person is inhabiting more than one role in their daily life as is most likely the case still define what those roles are on paper put them into a system like connectwise so that balls don't get dropped so that clients feel that they're kept in touch with and so that there's a level of accountability and communication on your help desk with your technicians your clients that actually makes sure that you're delivering a high level of service. And from my experience, MSPs who want to give their clients this level of service and MSPs that want to actually up their game and make a business as scalable, they're using Autotask or ConnectWise. So that's it, Eric Support Adventure from Thailand. Subscribe to the channel. If, you look, if you're interested in hearing more about these ideas, write an email to the email below. We'll get back to you, book a call, discuss more about how we can help your MSP from a consultancy standpoint, from a staffing standpoint, how we can help you basically make something that will scale using a lot of the things that we've seen working for other companies. So thanks a lot. Eric signing up from Thailand.